Hi guys and welcome back. So today we will be looking on our podcast and the topic for today's podcast is Zero to Hero Backend Developer Roadmap 2021. So this was the most uh, awaited one for a lot of users. Okay, so we will be looking into that key what what can make you zero to hero okay in terms of backend development so let's get started you don't have to need you don't need to spend 10k on a bootcamp to become a backend developer in 2021 whether you need to learn node.js express sql no sql dress json apis or the latest fancy, fancy technologies you can do it for free leveraging the power of the internet I have personally gathered, watched, tested and reviewed thousands of resources to come up with this only. JavaScript based backend roadmap you will ever need it in 2021. So let's get started. Point number one. The start of your backend journey. Learn how the web works. Before starting your journey to become a backend developer, I strongly suggest to understand the main mechanism of the web and how data exchange works. HTTP, HTTPS, client serve, client side, server side, DNS, browser, cookie. These are only some of the concepts you will need to master to kickstart your career and start building production ready APIs. Learn how to how the web works, a primer for the newcomers to web development. Coming to the second point, backend development, fundamental of computer science. Let me say one thing. Fundamental are fundamentals. You can learn a JavaScript backend framework without knowing the fundamentals of computer science, but it's probably the worst thing you can do. Learning and understanding how a computer works, how variables are stored, the difference between compiled code and script, what compile and runtime errors are, the principle of programming is the key of properly understanding the underlying mechanism of complex backend framework and how to optimize your code toward the desired outcome. Published by Harvard itself, this free computer fundamental course is the best way to set the foundation of your development career starting from the basics. I will give the link for the same in the description section. The third point, backend development, learn HTML and CSS. Even if you know, if even if you just want to develop some fancy APIs and backend system, it's key to learn how the frontend development works and how to better serve its need. To do so, you can start by learning some CSS and HTML. They are an awful a, a lot, a lot of amazing free resources for about HTML and CSS out there. I have personally reviewed some into the HTML and CSS by Khan Academy Responsive Web Designing Plus Certificate on free code. Okay, it's a 300 hours of course, so you can look into that. So create a portfolio, develop your first project. Okay, learn by doing a key. We mainly learn by solving problem. To solve problem, we need to practice. To practice, we need to create projects. Creating a portfolio while walking your journey to becoming a backend developer is a great way to both practice and exercise what you learn. Start by watching this tutorial on how to build your pers personal portfolio just by using HTML and CSS. So you can try, you can start with this and then you can extend your journey. You will have time to come back and add some proper backend with its interaction to a database and probably some data handling and exchange through API endpoints. The fourth point. Store your backend code in a repo. Learn Git version control and all. So Git is an open source version control system that allows you to keep track of your changes, back up your code, avoid distress consequences, collaborate seamlessly. Okay. If hosted on a web services as GitHub, it also use, uh, allows you to synchronize your code with collaborators. Keep your code base repository on the web, free to move between devices. The fifth point, learn the fundamental of web security. Unfortunately, the world is full of bad people, ready to steal and use your data and that of your customers. Knowing how to properly store and secure data and communication is the key for a backend developer. Understand the fundamental of web security and how to handle private information the, in the right way. 
its cause, then uh, HTTP or HTTPS, basic ha hashing, authentication. Those are only some of the concepts you will uh, work by, with while developing your backend and securing your API endpoints. The sixth point, add a pinch of interactive JavaScript. Learning JavaScript is one of the best investment you can make as a developer. Adding interactive to your website as well as data manipulation will completely change your project. In this 2021 market roadmap, we'll learn how to create our APIs using JavaScript. Hence, it's pretty fundamental to learn it before digging deeper into backend frameworks and libraries. The seventh point, the start of the backend journey, Node.js and NPN. There is no JavaScript backend developer without Node.js and NPN. The Node.js runtime is the software stack responsible for installing your web services code, its dependencies and running your service. It's an asynchronous event driven JavaScript runtime designed to build scalable network application used by companies like such as Netflix, Uber and NASA. It's sometimes a JavaScript backend developers should know in 2021. NPM is the just is the node package manager responsible for handling, installing and importing your Node.js libraries. So we have a lot of resources on the net where, from where you can learn Node.js and NPN. Okay, the eighth point, create powerful APIs, learn express.js. Even if you are potentially uh, potentially create full API just by using Node.js, this isn't convenient. Express comes to our help, a minimal and flexible Node.js framework that will help you creating API effortlessly thanks to merit of HTTPS and middleware. Express.js powers thousands of backend around the world, suitable for the most diverse REST APIs. The ninth point, now connect your database, uh, your backend to the database. What's the difference between SQL and NoSQL database? Should I use Postgres or MongoDB? Database are a huge part of backend development as those are the places where your data will be stored usually. Learn how to create, manage, edit and connect SQL and NoSQL databases is the key for backend developer. Should I learn? No SQL or SQL? Now this will be the question coming in your mind. As always, it depends. Both systems have their pros and cons, which makes them great in different scenarios. My suggestion, pick both a no SQL and a SQL database to learn. I personally tried an awful lot of database system, ending up using Postgres as a SQL database and MongoDB as a non SQL database. SQL database, learn Postgres, right? So one of the most, what is PostgreSQL, right? So it's one of the most powerful SQL database of 2021. Postgres is one of, is an open source DB system with over 30 years of active development. Postgres SQL, SQL has a strong reputation for reliability, feature robustness, and for performance. Now coming to the no SQL database, learn more on QDB. With over 12 years of active development, MongoDB is one of the most popular no SQL or we can call it a non-relational database to date. Hosted by AWS, Google Cloud and Azure, MongoDB stores the data of thousands of tools and platforms out there. 10th point, ship your backend faster, continuous delivery and DevOps. Amazon famously delivers new code every 11.6 seconds. Just a few years ago, this was unthinkable. This is thanks to continuous delivery and integration technologies or we can call it as CI-CD. Ways to ensure fast execution time, maximizing data gathering and data driven decision. DevOps stands for development as an operation and it's key skill to learn as a backend developer in 2021. Coming to the 11th point, learn by doing create, okay, create projects. There's no better way to retain notion than doing and solving problem. Sometimes finding backend projects to practice sound hard tough. Just remember, backends are mainly comprised of APIs and data exchange. Any project including those two domains will do the job. 12 point. 
start monetizing as a backend developer. At this point, you should be able to set up a proper REST API and get paid for it. The best thing about programming is that it's free to get started and pays a lot. There are hundreds of ways to monetize your backend development skills from open source to API monetization from tech writing to YouTube channels. Not a free source but definitely worth the price. Moving on to 13th point. Add types to your JavaScript backend TypeScript. Take JavaScript, add types and compile time errors and a much smaller, much smarter intelligence you will have TypeScript. JavaScript is known to be a typeless language. TypeScript solved this issue by bringing types that is string, number, long, etc. and a number of other features to your code. Great error handling, bug sorting and code is assistance. Some, sometimes some things a backend developer should know to create better APIs in 2021. Pick a JavaScript backend framework. Choosing a JavaScript framework will introduce a lot of commodities in your workflow. Backend framework introduced such as SSG, SSR or utilities to speed up your development. Before digging into JavaScript backend framework, it's key to understand what those terms are. So SSG is static site generation, SSR is server side rendering and CSR is this client side rendering. So you can look into this aspects also. Backend framework are usually based on front-end counterparts such as React and Vue.js strictly con connecting you to your backend to your front-end. There are many popular JS back backend frameworks such as React.js or Next.js you can say or Vue.js or Gatsby. React based backend framework Next.js or Gatsby. So what is Next.js? It's a React based and open source. Okay. Next.js brings hybrid, static and server side rendering to your backend development toolbox. Originally developed by Veracle.com, you might want to explore their free hosting services as well. What is Gatsby? Gatsby is also a React based open source framework for creating websites. Specialized in static websites such as blog and home pages. Amazingly faster, gives you 2500 plus plugins to kickstart your backend. Vue.js based frame, based backend framework or Next.js we can say. Based on Vue.js, Next.js is the Next.js counterparts. Modular pro performance and easy to use Next.js implement server side and static rendering to your workflows. Shift the heavy lifting to your backend learn GraphQL. My grandpa used to say, REST is great, but GraphQL is lightweight. Of course, I'm kidding. But simply put, put GraphQL shift the data handling coming from APIs from client to server side. This means not more REST, but active data processing and filtering directly in the backend. Used by NASA, Facebook, Airbnb, and GitHub is getting more and more transaction in 2021. Create lightweight in faster APIs with the WebAssembly. Now what is WebAssembly? WebAssembly is a new type of code that can run in modern web browsers and provide new features and major gains in performance to power back in. It is not primarily intended to be written by hand, rather it is designed to be an effective compilation target for source languages like C, C++, Rust, etc. Decentralize your backend with <coughs> Web 3.0 Learn Web 3.0 and get paid. If you want to take a step further, I suggest you exploring the potentialities of blockchain and Web 3.0 development. Blockchain developers are paid $140k per year on average, so you should think about this. So the conclusion of this uh, podcast, okay, is continue building projects. Learning backend development in 2021 can be completely free. In this roadmap, I listed best resources 
I have used to start my backend journey using JavaScript and landing my first freelancing job. To learn how to code, a roadmap is not enough. You need to practice, and you will. You can practice by building projects. The best way to learn is by solving problem. That's what Elon Musk says. Okay, solve problem and you will get paid for it. Okay, so hope I shared some valuable information to you. So please pay attention to this and focus on your career. And see you in the next podcast. Thank you and have a nice day.